Hi everybody, it's Miss Jennikin. Um, in today's video, we will be reading the book, The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. And while we're reading this book, we're gonna be learning how to make groups of a dozen. Does anybody know how many a dozen is? Like if our mom and dad or grandma or grandpa go out and they get a dozen eggs, do you know how many come in that carton? Or if you get a dozen bagels or a dozen donuts, how many of those come in? It's a term that bakers use called a dozen, and it means 12. 12 is a dozen. So here we have a 10 frame or a math rack, as some people might um, think of it, and it's a group of 10 plus 2. So if we have 10 and 2, it makes a dozen, which is... 12. In this story, we have our main character and she bakes a dozen cookies. So if she bakes a dozen cookies, how many cookies do we start with? How many is a dozen? If you said 12, you're right, 12 cookies. All right, let's go ahead and begin the book. The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. I've made some cookies for tea, said Ma. Good, said Victoria and Sam. We're starving. Share them between yourselves, said Ma. I made plenty. So here we have Ma and Victoria and Sam and they have 12 cookies. So, if there's 12 cookies, how many do each of them get? Hmm, how many does Victoria get and how many does Sam get if there are 12 cookies? Hmm, let's find out on the next page. That's six each, said Sam and Victoria. They look good as grandma's, said Victoria. They smell as good as grandma's, said Sam. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Uh oh, the doorbell rang, I wonder what that means. Oh, it was Tom and Hannah from next door. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. Uh-oh, so now we've got two more kids here, Tom and Hannah. So there are still 12 cookies, a dozen cookies, but now how many kids need to share 12 cookies? Before, just these two kids got six cookies each. How many do they get now that there are four of them? Hmm. Before they had six for each of them. Now there are four kids to share the 12 cookies. Hmm. Well, how many could we evenly put? Let's count until we get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cookies. So how many does each kid get? Three. Three cookies for each kid now. Wow, that's definitely less than six. Let's see what the book says. That's three each. Good job, we were right, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Tom, and look as good, said Hannah. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. I wonder who that could be. It was Peter and his little brother. Come in, said Ma. You can share the cookies. Okay, we still have 12 cookies, a dozen cookies, but now 
How many kids need to share them? We had four before. One, two, three, four. Now we have to add two more. Four, five, six. So how many kids need to share 12 cookies? Six. Oh, so then how many is each kid going to get? We have 12 cookies, but we have six kids who'd like some cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's start adding in our cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 cookies and six kids. How many does each kid get? Two cookies. Let's see if we're right on the next page. That's two each, said Victoria and Sam. They look as good as your grandma's, said Peter, and smell as good too. Nobody makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Oh no. They already only get two cookies each because there is six kids to make 12 cookies. Who else could come? It was Joy and Simon and their four cousins. How many more kids just came in the room? Joy and Simon with their four cousins. Come in, said Ma, you can share the cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more kids came. Wait a minute. If there are six kids coming in and six kids already there, how many kids do we have? What's six plus six? If you said 12, hmm, let's see if you're right. Let's start with our six that we already had. Six and add six more. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 kids, 12 cookies. How many do you think they each have? That's one each, said Sam and Victoria. They smell as good as your grandma's, said Joy, and look good too, said Simon. No one makes cookies like grandma, said Ma, as the doorbell rang. Oh my. I wonder who it could be now. And rang. Is Ma answering the door? <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I want to answer. We have no more cookies to give. Oh dear, said Ma as the children stared at the cookies on their plates. Perhaps you'd better eat them before we open the door. We'll wait, said Sam. How nice of him. They already only get one cookie, but they're gonna open the door. Ow, someone honked by me. It was grandma with an enormous tray of cookies. How nice to have so many friends to share them with, said grandma. It's a good thing I made a lot. Now do they have to worry about their one cookie they had to share? It's a good thing they waited. How kind, look at all the cookies they get now. I think my favorite part is look at the little kitty sitting on the plate. <laughs> and no one makes cookies like grandma, said ma as the doorbell rang. The end. This has been The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. And together, we took the idea of 12 cookies and how we could split it evenly amongst different groups of kids. At first, there were two kids and they each got six cookies. And then there were four kids and they each got three cookies. 
then there were six kids and they each got two cookies. And then finally, when there were 12 kids and 12 cookies, they only had one each. That is until grandma came and brought enough for everyone. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.